Well, as for Leicester, Jamie Vardy, the hero once again. Let's hear what Steve Cooper had to say about his 37-year-old striker. He's not normal in terms of what he, what he can still produce at his age and the, the athlete that he still is and still hitting high speeds and in, in tests on first day of pre-season and fitness levels and, you know, like he's right up there, you know, in the top category. There's no, no doubt about that. And hungry, motivated, all the experience. So um, we're just, you know, and me particularly, just really going to work strong with him in, in having the right programme, respecting his body and what he feels is right for him and his preparation. And um, and if we do that, then I feel we'll be able to, you know, to get more moments like, like tonight out of him. And um, he's the main man here for sure. And I want that to continue. Main man wants him to continue in that role. Sam, he, he doesn't look like he ages, does he? Yeah, death taxes and Jamie Vardy scoring on the opening weekend of the Premier League season. And if you take a look at these stats, these are the most uh, Premier, uh, the Premier League's top goal scorers of players in their 30s. Jamie Vardy leads the way. And look at the company he's in. You've got Ian Wright, Alan Shearer, Frank Lampard, Teddy Sheringham, Premier League legends we're talking about. Now, Jamie Vardy started playing Premier League football at 27, so that probably gives him a fair advantage. But I reckon that Jamie Vardy is vintage, vintage Premier League. So, you know, what a moment for him. Yeah. How key will he be to Leicester if they are to stay up this season? He'll be absolutely massive. I mean, last week they were trying to sign Adam Plozek of Bayer Leverkusen. That move was hijacked by Hoffenheim. So they were looking to strengthen in the striking department because Ian Acho's joined Sevilla. Patson Dacca has never managed to really stay... Uh, fit or, or really score consistently. You know, he's never scored more than seven goals in an English league campaign as well. But Jamie Vardy, what an amazing servant. You know, responding last year with 18 goals in the Championship at his age, having only scored three goals in the Premier League the year before that. And it's amazing to think that this is his 13th season with Leicester. You know, he signed the same year as Chris Wood. Chris Wood has represented five other clubs since uh, joining Leicester. He also signed the same summer that Jesse Lingard went on loan to Leicester. You know, Jesse Lingard became a Man United regular, an England star, you know, shone at West Ham, flopped at Nottingham Forest, played at multiple international tournaments and is now in South Korea. And Jamie Vardy's still been at Leicester that entire time. I think he's an amazing servant and a, and a brilliant example of, of perseverance and dedication uh, and really sticking with your, your sport if it's not necessarily turning out so well for you in your early 20s. You uh, kept a close eye on this one. What did you make of it? Were there any other bright sparks for Leicester? Yeah, I thought Abdul Fatawu was probably their best player on the right wing. He provided that amazing ball in for Jamie Vardy's goal. He'd struggled in the early parts of this game against Destiny Adoggi. I think a lot of players will struggle against Destiny Adoggi this season. I think he is a really high-quality left-back. But Fatawu grew into the game. And last year, you know, it was his first year playing regularly in that sort of level of competition in the Championship. He ended up with 13 assists in the championship that was really impressive and things are looking a little bit more positive for Leicester obviously after that first half it did feel like they could have been three full goals down but they actually finished the stronger Vardy had that amazing chance in that game they just got Oliver Skip over the line as well and uh, yeah Skip has shown glimpses of real promise for Spurs in the past and he'll be playing alongside Harry Winks another Tottenham boy so I think they could improve uh, as the season goes on but there's certainly been a lot of change there this summer.